Hi Virgos, thank you so much for joining me here today for your reading. This will be a general love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Crosswatchers. Hello, you're very welcome here. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. First card out. Six of Cups. Woo! Water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, which may mean something to you. Um, this is reconciliation, guys. Reunion. Someone from your past returning, reaching out to you. Could be offering an apology here, but reaching out, trying to make amends. Um, I'm just drawn to the sunflowers today as well, which is about loyalty. Um and longevity so it feels like this person has been thinking about all the loyalty you've given them i'm just getting it this you know this could be a long time your connection has been years um yeah months maybe but definitely could be years um and they're kind of thinking about all the kind of good times you've had together as well you know missing you so someone that's having a lot of nostalgic thoughts about you, reminiscing. So they're really doing a lot of reminiscing and thinking about you as well, which, you know, <clears throat> will make them get into the energy of eventually reaching out and returning. Because there's only so long someone can kind of be in that energy and not do something about it. So, you know what, in this card as well, there's this figure here looking over the two, divine feminine masculine energy. It's almost like they're getting some guidance here to get on the right path this could be their spirit team this could be like an actual it feels like a, a father figure some kind of mentor here guiding them back on the right path yeah so looks like someone's going to be reaching out here you may have because this is children here as well you may have children with your divine masculine already or this may might be something in the future that they would like guys i really stupidly just painted my nails again not, not long before oh, i decided to record this i'm so stupid <laughs> oh my god what a reading so far oh my god because I've been tapping into a lot of heavy energy for the collective recently, but oh my god, this is so nice to see. <laughs> Six of Cups, <laughs> followed by the Two of Cups. Oh my god, mind blowing. <sighs> More water energy coming in here, but I, yeah, I mean, reunion, reconciliation, reunion and reconciliation. Double confirmation here, okay? This Divine Masculine really wants to come back into your life. And be a major part of it. Be someone long term. Be someone committed to you. You know, be back with their true love, which essentially what this card is. Um, could also be dealing with a Leo as well. Sometimes get from the Two of Cups. Um, this is really my I love you card. You've probably heard me say. So, I mean, this Divine Masculine loves you for sure. I mean, they recognize that you are. The person who gets them the most, probably the only person that truly gets them, you know, someone that they know they're like destined to be with. And you could have had many past lives here, you know, as well together. So, oh my God. So really, <clears throat> God, I almost don't want to pull any more cards because <laughs> in case we get some like sad divine masculine energy here. But so far, I mean... This is a group of Divine Masculines who really want to be back with their true love, their counterpart, their Divine Feminine. You know, having a lot of like sweet times with you, you know, embracing you under this tree here. You know, I, I feel like they're in quite a romantic energy, actually. Hmm... You know, just as I probably jinxed it, just as I said that, but some sad energy. Nine of Swords, <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So, 
they may be really in their head about how to do this. I don't think it's going to hold them back too much, you know, but they're kind of like <laughs> wringing their hands over this, you know, waking up at night thinking about this. A bit, yeah, anxiety here. Um, it's almost like they're doing all this reminiscing and they have so many really fond memories of you. And then it's like when they do that kind of past thinking, they think, oh God, but then I did this to my divine feminine and that and, oh, you know, I really treated her or him badly, you know. So there's an element of that. There's an element of um, regret and being ashamed of that. So this is really how they are thinking, you know, and I feel like, I actually kind of feel like the, this group will be coming back into your life fairly soon. But yeah, they um, you may not be seeing the actions right now because there's this element of them <clears throat> really being in their head about actions, past actions that they've taken, you know, but they're kind of almost through this cycle of this. It's nine of swords. So yeah, I just feel like this action is going to be fairly, fairly soon, fairly imminent. Let's see what else we get. It's just like they recognise that you're their person, you know. Sorry guys, I think because my nails are all sticky. That wasn't a very good shuffle, let's do that again. Okay, Divine Masculines, what else is going on here? You know what, Divine Feminines, you could be really in your head about this too, mirroring each other like this. I feel like a lot of divine feminines are actually waking up a lot at random times during the night, not having the best quality of sleep too, because you're just, you know, missing your divine masculine and thinking like, where the hell are they? And, you know, they're my person, who are they with? But they just want to be with you, you know, they just probably are not telling you that. Okay, let's get a few more cards. Oh, the Tarot Illuminati. Interesting, yeah. Okay, so like I was saying with the, the Nine of Swords, that they are, you know, really kind of at the end of the cycle of, of holding themselves back so much, being in their head of, about this. And um, we can see now the, the Ten of Swords coming out. So the progression of this person, yes, it's been really difficult for them and you, you know, it's a really, really painful cycle here. But it is coming to an end here. This is why I was kind of feeling this energy is quite imminent of the reconciliation. Been through like a real dark night of the soul here, probably both of you. Um, but you know, there's this light on the horizon here. So it just feels like um, just that they're going to be lifting themselves up out of this energy. And just getting to the point where enough is enough, you know. I, I can't be in my head so much. I just need to kind of do it, take some action. Because we do have... Oh, I thought I saw the strength card there. That's so random. Maybe that's just what I'm tuning in to. But I, I could have sworn I saw the strength card out of these. But it's not here. So, hmm. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo. I don't know why I've been guided to say that today. It's quite odd, but um, I am. So maybe that's a message for some of you. Um, but yeah, about getting this strength and confidence. We also have the world here. So double confirmation of the ending of these painful cycles and the beginning of new. It's, it's kind of weird. We've got double confirmation of a reconciliation, a return, and double confirmation of, um, yeah, a new cycle beginning here. This is Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio energy as well. And <clears throat> guys, if you if you look at my Instagram reading, I put up a couple of days ago at Queen Diane two two two. Make sure you follow me on there because I do post bonus readings and content and things. Chat to me on there. Um, but I was saying about the world card, the world 
card it is a major arcana and it comes up when you've kind of it's at the end of like the major arcana cycle so you've kind of been through like everything you know and you're coming to the end of that like a new beginning you kind of have been through all the kind of you know cycles of the major arcana like tower and everything like that grief you know it just um shows up at the end when it's things are kind of ready to move forward you could live at a distance from this person as well um the world is about travel relocation flying and that type of thing it could be quite a large distance maybe that is something that has had them in their head about how to move this forward is the distance as we know that doesn't matter guys but you know divine masculines are a lot more 3d and practical and things and get in their head about things like that so yeah um we do have the high priestess here so um a lot of things being held back secrets being kept and um probably quite a lot of silence between you guys maybe all the time but certainly at times there just seems to be like a cycle of silence i feel that's also something that's going to be ending here the end of the cycle um it's like the end of the silence you know you're going to be hearing from this person princess of swords as well more air energy it's just someone it feels like someone getting proactive here um speaking their truth this is about communication as well picking up that sword and it's kind of like you know taking these swords out of their back and picking up their sword of truth and and speaking their mind speaking their mind here yeah i'm just getting the word proactive like <clears throat> It's almost just saying to themselves, like, enough is enough. Can't be in this nine and ten of swords energy forever. So, yeah, we need a new start here. And that starts with this truthful communication coming forward. <laughs> Bottom of the deck energy. Wow. The chariot. There's a lot of Cancerian energy here today as well. Um, So you may be a Cancer or dealing with one. Or have it somewhere in the chart, guys. But I, yeah, this is major, major movement forward. Um, almost like with the High Priestess. You know how I was saying as well in the Six of Cups about a mentor. Or someone kind of guiding them. It could be their spirit team, I was saying. like um, Guiding them on the right path. This is what the High Priestess is about as well. Like using that inner intuition but maybe getting advice from you know someone else more spiritual or um just kind of wise it feels like and the right path is like storming ahead to you i mean this is really really fast action communication again you could be at a distance a lot of you in this group um because this is about kind of travel and um it just feels like quite a, a large distance for some of you. Um, but yeah, this is um, swift action coming towards you, Divine Feminine, from this person. And I see it in my comments quite a lot, like, um, about a lot of people who never thought they'd get this communication, you know, hearing all these readings about it and thinking, oh, that'll never happen to me. And all of a sudden it is, you know, and this is kind of the energy of this reading as well. It's like someone um, finally grabbing the bull by the horns or grabbing the horses by the reins here and doing something about this connection because the bottom line is they just know that you are their true love. They're so in love with you, by the way, you know, and they can't think of anyone else. Well, they don't want to be with anyone else. They just want to be with you. Swords, you know, can be quite um, kind of spiky communication. We do have quite a lot of air energy, swords energy. So that would be another thing that could be um, could have been in their head about here. 
is when they reach out, like, are you going to kind of be in that sort of swords energy? Are you going <laughs> to cut them down a bit? You know, are you going to be a bit harsh, harsh words, basically, with them? So they're probably a bit concerned about that, too. But, you know, um, this Princess of Swords is, you know, basically like the Queen of Swords, like, I feel like you'll be willing to hear this person out. You know, you may be a bit off with them at first, but I feel like you'll be willing to listen to, to what they've got to say here. So yeah, um, all of a sudden, fast action coming in here. So let's get, wait, what am I going to go with first? Hold on. Yeah, no, let's go with some heart oracles here to add to this. What's going on in the heart space here? Just feels like they've almost made a choice that, or not a choice, I'm being corrected, but just getting like an epiphany, like you're their person. Make it clear. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, there's a lot of this energy coming through in this reading. Heart song, inner knowing, telepathy, intuition. Yeah, that's what I was getting from the High Priestess. Certainly the Six of Cups and Two of Cups as well. It's this, um, it is this inner knowing that this group have got. It's a strong, strong intuition. You know, their heart sings when they think about you. And that's what's drawing them back so strongly here. A lot of inner knowing going on here. <sighs> oh, can you hear those birds outside, guys? And there's a bird on here too. Um, <laughs> and here, there's a lot of kind of, it's, yeah, I, I don't know. It's almost like the, <laughs> the birds are saying communication's coming in here. Cause you know how chatty birds are? So funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, they have this inner knowing, okay? So this is what I was saying, that they recognise who their person is and that it's you. It's because they already have this intuition going on. And that's what's going to send them racing back here. I'm not feeling with this group, um, I'm not feeling a karmic person involved here actually at all in this group. Uh, maybe that's something you've dealt with in the past, but like at present, if you're wondering if your divine masculine is with anyone, um, you know, if you're feeling like this is your story, then I'm going to say no, because this person is only focused on you, okay, and, and and coming back together with you. And we've got second chance here, making amends, which is what I mentioned with the Six of Cups, that specific phrase, making amends with you. Opportunity plans, you know, when one door closes, you know, another window opens, and it just feels like this painful cycle is what's closing, you know, and this, this second chance is coming in here that's what they would really like with you uh, again i you know i'm feeling like they're questioning are you going to be receptive to them um it just feels like they have betrayed you at some point so they'd love a second chance with you they're dying for one i feel like especially with this chariot as the overall energy um but um, quite understandably, you know, they are wondering if 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 you will hear them out, but they, they want a second chance. That's the bottom line with this group they do. Um, I'm going to get on to some other cards, actually. Let's get some psych psychic tarot to go with this. <clears throat> Let me just see if I get anything else from this before we move on. Hmm...
I've kind of covered all the all the messages, the main messages I'm getting from this, to be honest. I am kind of hearing the word relocation, which is something, you know, um, that the world can be about. Could even just be a holiday, you know, I'm just feeling like they, it's like they want to whisk you away somewhere and then, you know, <laughs> have all these romantic two of cups time. So look out for that. We do have the word plans here as well. So you don't mind masculine, could be planning something like that and you just have no idea, you know. Divine Masculines plan a lot behind the scenes, as I'm sure you guys know. Like, they'll just suddenly turn up out of the blue, like, on this chariot, you know, a lot of the time. And they, they've done all this thinking and planning and, you know, you just have no uh, knowledge about it. It is very high priestessy, keeping their cards close to their chest. Okay, this card wants to come out. Oh! Recognition and reward. <clears throat> hmm. This is something I talked about in this first card, Six of Cups, with the sunflowers that I was drawn to today, which is about loyalty and them recognising your, your loyalty to them. Okay, so I really do feel like this group does recognise that. It's almost like they're going to reward you for that loyalty and patience, even when at times they have been a total asshole, let's face it, to you, you know, and they're like, I can't believe, you know, you're, you're still around, like you would still, you know, you still care about me, you still support me, it's like you're always there for me, they do recognise that. Something again, I just feel drawn to this high priestess, they might not have really ever shared with you, that'll be something unexpected they may tell you, but they do, they do recognise it. They do appreciate it, I'm being told. I'm going to take these two cards as well. <clears throat> huh. Yeah, solitude. Solitude. <laughs> like I said, I really feel that this group of Divine Masculines are pretty much doing like alone, doing a lot of thinking, contemplating, learning about themselves, gainer, gaining, um, you know, stronger kind of intuition, spiritual ascension. I'm really not feeling, you know, like another relationship around them. I feel like they're on their own quite a lot. And solar plexus chakra, and I, I just feel this group of Divine Masculines gaining a lot more confidence in themselves. And the confidence is kind of coming through in this chariot, decisive, fast, determined action. You know, they, they really may not have been in a very confident place here. Um, that's why a lot of them disappeared, I feel. And that's that old Divine Masculine thing of you're too good for them, that type of thing. But I'm actually feeling them gaining this confidence. Um, there's actually quite a lot of yellow, which is solar plexus chakra colour, yellow. And um, there's a lot of yellow in this chariot card. So gaining, um, gaining more knowledge about themselves and the connection, but also getting the confidence to take action because, you know, I was getting this word proactive quite a lot and it just feels like um, believing in themselves more, believing and kind of not being in their head so much about what to say and how what your reaction is going to be. It's like, look, I want a second chance with you. I know I've messed up. I do want a second chance. Please hear me out. I, I have this inner knowing, I know that you're my true love. I mean, in this group, like, because we've got, you know, a lot about, like, searching books here, reading this book here. I would not be surprised if this group um, has been reading up about soul connections and maybe even knows that you are twin flames here. 
It just feels like they've really been gaining a lot of knowledge. So, I'm going to use my Witch's Wisdoms Oracle. Just get one of these. They're so massive. <laughs> I'm not going to, like, I can barely get my hands, my fingers around right these. So, I'm just going to take one that I am guided to take. Let's give these a shuffle. Whoa. Okay, this one coming out. Oh, Witch's Cottage. I've never actually seen this one. Sorry, guys, if this is a bit bright. Um, security. Huh. So, hmm. Oh, there's a little black cat. That literally looks like Angus, my neighbor's cat. I always say that I see when I'm doing readings a lot. He looks identical to that. Maybe um, some of you have a black cat or just like cats, but this feels like what both of you have been wanting in this connection is more security going on here. And it's quite, it's strong commitment. <clears throat> you know, there's two houses here. It kind of feels like this Divine Masculine has been thinking a lot about you living together. Maybe that's something they've mentioned to you before, but maybe it's not because I just keep being <laughs> drawn to this High Priestess a lot today. I feel like they don't reveal a lot to you, but um, yeah, with this kind of secretive planning, don't be surprised if they just kind of suddenly start talking to you about living together. They want this security. I, I just feel like this person um, is trying to be a lot more stable in their life. And it's like they want to provide for their true love you they want to provide like a home and security i feel like some of them haven't had a lot of security going growing up even just around the house um their house situation of late they could be uh they could have been sorry like um you know sofa surfing a lot um you know lost a house something like that uh, yeah, because I'm just being drawn to this Ten of Swords, like a loss of um, of a home, actually. So, you know, this is something that they are really wanting with you as well. Um, yeah, gaining, gaining the strength and it just feels like gaining... Because we've got this sudden, like self-confidence coming in here i wouldn't be surprised if this group is now kind of doing a bit better financially and it's something they feel that they can provide to you as like a home now and that's what this second chance is about now you can have the second chance because they've kind of got the backing behind this so i'm just going to end with some eternal messages let's make them Sure, they're all round the right way first. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Oh, sorry, guys. Did you hear that little ah, smoky? I just woke him up there talking. 